So let's get right to it. And we are, first of all, of course, no surprise, we will start off in the SEC. So this is how it's going to look. Georgia, uh, as you know by now, probably, uh, they're going to face uh, the winner of the Texas A&M Texas matchup. It's, it's that simple. So uh, Ole Miss and Alabama screw themselves. And I don't know, you know, Florida fans very happy. They're in a bowl and all that, even though they probably would have clinched the bowl the next week against Florida State anyway. But guys, are you really that happy that you eliminated, say, Ole Miss and pushed Georgia into the championship game? Is that really what you wanted? Anyway, you got it. Uh, so we are going to interview Olin Buchanan tomorrow on the Arlads Football Network. And that's going to give us an opportunity to find out what's going on in Aggie land before Texas A&M takes on the Texas Longhorns. So for you Texas A&M fans, look out for that right here on the Arlads Football Network. All right, simple as that for the uh, SEC, Big Ten now. We all know Oregon, they've already clinched. And as you can see, it's pretty cut and dry here in the Big Ten. Uh, Oregon is going to take on Ohio State if Ohio State beats Michigan. It's that simple. Many people out there probably believe it's academic, 20-point favorite. I think the line's outrageous, honestly. Yes, I'm a Michigan fan, but I've been betting against Michigan a lot this year. So uh, I was first to tell you before the season began that they had no right being as ranked where they were. So it's not about that. It's just that, uh, as you saw last week, they're not going to quit. It's a rivalry game. It's a big number. Michigan's got a really good defense. Will Johnson, not sure if he's going to play. And if he does, that's even a bigger reason to say, well, that's a lot of points. So anyway, that's points wise. Can they win the game? Yeah, I think they actually can, but will they? No, probably not. So Ohio State looks like they're in really good shape. And I got to tell you right now, I think Penn State, I'm not sure they're going to tell you this, but I believe Penn State's going to be happy if Ohio State wins. Because let's say Ohio State doesn't win. And Penn State finds their way into the championship to take on Oregon. And Penn State loses, okay? Ohio State has two losses. Penn State has two losses. Ohio State beat Penn State in Penn State. I think Ohio State's getting in. And if Ohio State gets in, does Penn State get in too? I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, uh, Indiana, as you can see, they still have a shot. All they have to hope for, of course, is that Ohio State and Penn State loses. And uh, those are a couple of, what, 20 and 28 point uh, upsets. Just likely not going to happen. And yes, if Michigan upsets, uh, Ohio State, Penn State will clinch with the win over Maryland. Okay, next up, let's go to the, uh, excuse me, wrong one. Let's go to the ACC. And SMU, wow, all of a sudden, boom, just like that. It's SMU clinching a spot in the championship game. So they are going to take on, it's real simple, if Miami beats Syracuse, and nothing that Miami does is easy. So And and, and McCord just throwing lights out you know, every other game. And he's definitely a pro prospect to keep an eye on. And we'll talk a lot about McCord here on the R-LED's uh, scouting system. But if, uh, if Miami beats Syracuse, they're in. If for some reason Syracuse upsets Miami, and that's more legitimate, a lot more legitimate than, say, Michigan or Maryland upsetting anyone. So if Syracuse upsets Miami, then Clemson doesn't have to do anything because they play SEC team this week. They're in. So Clemson just sit back, root for Syracuse. If Syracuse wins, it's Clemson, SMU. If, S if Miami wins, it's Miami and SMU. And, and I think we're going to get Miami and, S and SMU. Okay, Big 12. Now, this is where the craziness begins, okay? So as you can see, there's a four-team tie right now. All right, now, let's say there is a four-team tie, okay? So let's say Arizona State, BYU. It's, it, was, it would have been nice if these two teams, one of these, I mean, two of these teams that played each other this week, but didn't happen. All right, now, let's say they all tie. If they all tie, the two teams on the left, Arizona State, Iowa State, will play in the championship game. Now, also keep in mind that under, under most of the tiebreaker scenarios, not all of them, Arizona State, Iowa State matchup is the most likely. Okay. But let's now go to the three way tie scenario. Okay. So there's, let's take a look at all four of these teams losing. So let's say three of them win, one lose. Arizona State, let's say they lose to Arizona. This is Arizona's season, and I go to a bowl, big rivalry. Let's say they pull off the upset, and Arizona State loses. The other three win, okay, BYU, Iowa State, championship game. Now, let's say the other three teams win, but Iowa State loses, and boy, they've got the toughest one. they got to take on Kansas State. 
So let's say Iowa State loses to Kansas State. The other three win. Arizona State and BYU will play in the championship game. Now, what if Colorado loses as a heavy favorite against Oklahoma State? It's been a dreadful season for the Cowboys. I have no idea. I haven't heard anything about Gundy. I, I mean, you know what? I, I'm, that's a good idea. I'm thinking about it myself. Uh, we've got some Oklahoma State insiders there that we're going to talk to. Maybe we'll get them on the network, find out if Gundy's coming back. I, I haven't even looked for. I've been so busy, uh, even though I've thought about it. You know, he's been here for so long. Is this it? Is Gundy just going to move on? Or no, this is just a blip. He'll be there for the next 10 years. We'll try to find that out. But look, this is their season. And they actually were competitive last week. You know, they scored a bunch of points, but they gave up a lot. I don't see them, of course, upsetting Colorado. But Colorado did lose, coming off a loss, long winning streak. There's some doubt now in there. I'm not going to rule anything out. It's college football. Um, but uh, in this scenario, I don't even know where I got on that tangent. Oh, in the scenario that Colorado loses to Oklahoma State and the other three teams win, well, Arizona State – Iowa State, once again, play in the championship game. Now, the one that really screws everything, everybody's mind up, is that BYU loses to Houston. They're a heavy favorite. I do not see that happening. Houston not going to a ball. Willie Fritz done a really good job in the first year with Houston, but they're just they're still overmatched. I think BYU's had too good of a year to lose at home to Houston on senior day. I don't see it happening, but if it does, and it opens up a hornet's nest we don't want to get into, that means Colorado and Baylor now have a shot. Yes, Baylor even has a shot in, in a few scenarios here. So Baylor is rooting for the upset there uh, for that to happen. I'm not going to get into all of them. Suffice to say, Colorado can get in. Okay, But what they need to do if BYU loses is they've got to get wins by Texas Tech, Baylor, and Cincinnati. Okay, So Colorado can definitely get in. But they need BYU to lose, Texas Tech to win, Baylor to win, Cincinnati to win. You see what I'm saying? And then just to go into other potential crazy scenarios, there's just too many to calculate here. I gave you the most simplest ones. Uh, look, it's early. It's Monday at the beginning of the week. They're really going to start to cram down on these. You know, Just Google the team name. Check it out. I would wait a couple more days and then you have a better look. If your favorite team is out there, it's a lot easier to look for that one team and find the different scenarios you can follow. I'm sorry, but the big 12 is just crazy. And, uh, and we just, uh, we'd have to have a whole show on how uh, to, to track their scenarios. But again, most of it is if BYU loses and the other three win. Okay. If the other scenarios are pretty cut and dry. Now let's go to the group of five. Hey, no such craziness here. Army, Tulane, championship game. Now, the only thing we don't know is where. And they're just like the Big 12 at BYU, there's a ton of different scenarios on where these games could be, Tulane or Army. Okay, so one of these teams will have the home game. We don't know which. Still a lot of football to be determined in that situation. i tell you right now, uh, Army better hope it's home. Uh, Tulane, just too good. They're just playing so awesome. And I still think Tulane, of course, if there's a slip up at all now, it's, it's going to be pretty simple, really, the way it looks. That as long as Army beats Texas San Antonio, of course, it looks pretty simple to me that if uh, Boise slips up, okay, I believe the Tulane Army winner becomes the group of five rep. I'm sure there'll be a lot of UNLV fans that'll think UNLV should be that team, but that's just the way I think it should be. We'll talk more about that later in the week, but there you go, AAC. Now, speaking of the Mountain West, Boise's already, of course, clinched the championship game. Now, who to play? Well, you got Colorado State, UNLV. Those are the only two teams that have a shot to play Boise. And this is the thing that is, is I understand it, but look, if, if, if they both win or both lose, whatever, but they both win, the fact is that they're going to go with the higher ranked team. I can't see a scenario which Colorado State's the higher ranked team. I just can't. UNIV has had all the publicity. They've had all, I mean, nobody knows about Colorado State. So I just don't see Colorado State having much of a chance here. They're definitely going to have to hope for Nevada to upset UNLV. Um, and that's uh, probably asking too much. Okay. Sunbelt. Now, uh, a lot to dissect here, but it could be very easy. Louisiana in the West and Marshall in the East. Okay. So as you can see, if both win, both clinch. 
Simple, Louisiana, Marshall. And you know what? The way the season has gone, I do believe, as we're talking, they are the two best teams and probably deserve to play each other. Okay. If you've been following our shows, you know, though, that I've really been high on Georgia Southern this year since the beginning. And I think Georgia Southern is another team that has a chance and deserves to be there as well, just like Marshall. But they can't get there unless they get a little help. All right. This is the situation that has to happen. They need James Madison, first of all, to beat Marshall. Great matchup. James Madison, Marshall. Keep this in mind. James Madison cannot get to the championship game. Great season, right? Beat North Carolina. And look, we've been following this James Madison team now. They've been winning a lot of games the last uh, couple of years, but no, they're not going to be able to go to the championship game. All they can do is play spoiler. Upset Marshall. Not upset. I actually think they're favored at home. Beat Marshall. Okay. Georgia Southern beats Arkansas State, and it's simple. Georgia Southern wins the East. Why? Because they beat Marshall by one point earlier this year. Okay? So there you go. That's a simple situation in the East if it's not Marshall. Okay? Now, in the West, Louisiana, all they got to do is beat Louisiana Monroe. Okay? Now, Louisiana Monroe has been 5-1. and one. Well, they were 5-1. and one. About five weeks ago, six weeks ago, they're now five and six. They've had five straight games with a shot to go to six wins, bowl eligibility for the first time since 2012, and the second time in the history of the program. They haven't been able to do it one, two, three, four, five times. They got one more shot at it against their in-state rivals. So now look, this is actually a bigger game, of course, for Louisiana Monroe. But Louisiana, hey, it's also big for them. They, they want a championship game spot. So Louisiana, just they're a heavy favorite against Louisiana Monroe. It's on the road. Win the game. They're in. If they lose in South Alabama, who has a win over Louisiana, if South Alabama gets the win and Georgia Southern wins as well because they would knock Arkansas State out of the situation, you know, to be tiebreakers and such, it's simple. It's South Alabama, tiebreaker with Louisiana. They get in. They are in the championship game. All right. Now, what we don't want to do is bother with uh, the three-way tie in the West. A couple of things here, first of all. Because I didn't mention, uh, look, if Georgia Southern loses, uh, and even if Marshall loses, Marshall's in. So, I mean, they just, it's easy. You just look at the standings. But in the, in the West, okay, if there's a three-way tie, okay, with Arkansas State winning and Louisiana losing, <clears throat> and South Alabama uh, losing, or yeah, or actually winning, because that would put South Alabama uh, and, uh, and 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 the two other teams, Arkansas State and Louisiana, all at six and two. All right, so if they're all at six and two, it's a three-way tie. Now. I have looked and I cannot find the exact tiebreakers and how it would work if it's possible to work for Arkansas State. All right. So all I know is at this point is that Arkansas State, all you have to do is look at it. They have beaten South Alabama, but lost to Louisiana. So you have these teams beating each other, losing. So now I can't imagine Arkansas State would win any sort of three game tiebreaker because they you wind up going to now look, maybe they don't go to rankings and they'll go to other things. I don't know. I just find it hard to believe Arkansas State would, would find a way to, to, to beat because South Alabama and Louisiana are better than Arkansas State. So I don't think Arkansas State really has a shot here. But I just figured I'd put it in there just in case. That's why I said wait a day or two. I'm sure if you're a Red Wolf fan, you probably know the tiebreaker situation. You probably even know if you're a fan whether or not they have a shot. Um, I just haven't had I, I haven't had any time to find that out because I've been spending so much other time on all the other tiebreaker situations, and I just couldn't find anything on Arkansas State. If I had a few more hours, another day I could, but very important uh, to just get all this stuff out there because I don't know how many Arkansas State fans are really out there anyway. But hey, uh, to each its own. I mean, I'm a Rutgers fan, and I don't have a big uh, fan base. All right, so that's the Sun Belt. Uh, let's move on now to the MAC. Okay, and this is pretty simple. So Ohio, heavy favorite against bowling uh, against Ball State, beat Ball State, and they clinched the championship game. Okay, then they will play the winner of the Bowling Green Miami matchup, and it's that simple. Okay, Ohio State wins as a heavy favorite. 
winner at Bowling Green, Miami. There you go, championship game. The madness happens if Ohio uh, were to lose. All right, so here's the thing. If Ohio loses and Buffalo, you see Buffalo is in there too. If Ohio and Buffalo lose, okay, and Miami loses, okay, so let's say Bowling Green wins, they're in the championship game. Who do they play? Well, Miami's got the loss then. And then let's say Ohio does lose and Buffalo loses, well, Miami's getting in. And now we get a rematch of Bowling Green and Miami. Okay. But what if Bowling Green wins and now you've got Miami losing and Ohio losing again, yet Buffalo wins this time? Buffalo, yes, Buffalo is going to the championship game. Okay. So there's actually, Buffalo actually has a chance, but they need Ball State to win and then Bowling Green to win. That happens. Buffalo's in championship game. So they're in a much better situation than Arkansas State. All right. Now, if Bowling Green loses, it's too early in the week. I can't figure out all of the – it's just crazy. So I don't want to go down that path anyway because I, I've been I, – I, I predicted Bowling Green would win the MAC this year, and obviously I'm sticking to it. So they're my team, and I think they're going to go ahead and get it done. And it will probably be Bowling Green in Ohio, and Bowling Green will win the championship. Uh, but, hey, things don't usually go the way they're supposed to, right? And then finally, in the Conference USA, Jacksonville State, Rich Rodriguez. You wonder if he's now going to get another shot somewhere. I believe he will to coach uh, in, in a, you know, probably even in the Power Five next year. Anyway, Jacksonville State will host the championship game of this conference. And it's simple. Liberty, if they win their matchup against Sam Houston, Liberty is going to the championship game. And we're going to have a Liberty and Jacksonville State matchup. All right, now, what if – Western Kentucky beats Jacksonville State, which is very possible because Jacksonville State has already clinched the home field situation. So they're playing for nothing. So it's very likely that Western Kentucky is going to win that game. All right. If Western Kentucky wins that game and Liberty loses, okay, then Western Kentucky gets into the championship game. And again, this is very possible. All right. And then you're going to get a Western Kentucky Jacksonville State uh, matchup, which is also interesting because Jacksonville State and Western Kentucky will have just played. Okay. So now, Sam Houston, do they have a shot? Yes, they do. That's why the logo is there. They can do it if they beat Liberty. All right. And Jacksonville State beats Western Kentucky. Now, again, I don't see that happening, but you never know. Maybe Rich Rod says, well, look, I don't want, I don't want to face Western Kentucky for whatever reason. And I got a chance to beat them twice. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to beat him twice. Uh, well, let's just beat him once. But if I, if I try to beat them, so that's that's my theory. If they And I'm saying he's going to do it. But if, if I try to beat this team the first time and I lose, well, I'm going to try to beat him again next week. And I just, you know, mathematics tell me that we're so evenly matched that I'll beat him once out of two weeks. But if I don't try the first week, then I only got really one chance. So that's why you never know. And he might say to themselves, anyway, this is a, an opponent we don't want to face. Uh, maybe they feel they have a better chance with the other team teams. So let's just do whatever we do we can do to beat them now. That could also happen. So I watch out for the whole week about how Jacksonville State is going to, you know, whether or not they're going to sit players, or whatever. It's going to be very important also for the, for the point spread. You know, I might actually take a, a look at Western Kentucky early in the week. And then if you want, let's say it works against you later in the week, meaning, hey, it sounds like Rich Rod is going to try to win this game. Well, just go ahead and if, if you're worried about it and just go ahead and take Jacksonville State and get out of it and you, you, you're done. All right. But if you take them now and they're a one point favorite and then all of a sudden he says on Wednesday, he's sitting everybody and now Western Kentucky is a 10 point favorite. Well, you're in a great situation. Okay, so we'll talk more about that too in the next couple of days, but it's Monday, so I figured I'd give you a jump start on that possibility. Uh, anyway, so uh, I believe that is it. That is going to wrap it up for our college football scenario broadcast.